All right, we got the new forks on the TBR7. So these are from uh, 1995 Honda XR250L model. So it's got to be the L. Because you need somewhere to put your ignition and your gauge cluster. You could use CR250 forks or, you know, whatever you want, but you're going to have to come up with a way to mount the ignition, mount the gauge cluster. So XR250L was the way to go for me. And as you can see, this is your stock. Everything in here, you know, your stock ignition. Steering lock still works. Cluster bolts up. Just like it used to on the stock forks. Forks themselves change over on the bike. You just install new bearings. And this was kind of the trickier part. So I had to order a new speed sensor. This is just the Honda one being used kind of as a spacer at the moment because the Honda axle is bigger. It does not allow you to just simply take the front wheel off of your TBR7, your Hawk 250, and slide everything together. The diameter is much larger on this axle, so the wheel bearings have to be changed. You either have to drill out your speed sensor, your speedo sensor, you know, whatever it is you want to call it, for a stock setup to accommodate the larger Honda axle, or you can buy the one that I bought and it's on its way that has a inner diameter of 15 millimeters, same as the Honda axle. So over here, you have the Honda wheel spacer and the washer. The diameter of the washer, I'll put that in the video's description. And you have the China bike brake. I just made a quick bracket. That way it works. I'll have to go back and transfer that over and make it look better. But functional was what I was after at this point. Fender obviously just transfers right over as Tau Tau or RPS for the Hawk did use the same exact bolt spacing as the Honda. So really as far as doing the fork swap, the forks transfer right over. That wasn't a big deal. Obviously you can use the stock front wheel from your Hawk or your TBR7. You just need new wheel bearings. Um, all the little details like that, as far as parts, I'll put in the video's description so you know what you need. But I just want to cover this real fast. As I spent about a week doing this, well, I did the forks. And I did the Honda rear swing arm as well. I still got to go back and adjust the chain. I just wanted to get everything together. That way I could take it out for a ride, see how everything works. But I'll make a separate video covering the swing arm swap itself. I just want to make sure that I get everything for the forks in this one. And like I said, it, it's really not that complicated if you know exactly what you need to do. I had a little bit of help <clears throat> from somebody who previously did one of these. I was talking to them through my Facebook group. So it made it a little bit easier. So I figured let's cover all the little details. That way anybody can go ahead and do this. And as you can see, the bike is a lot taller in the front. The seat height really didn't change all that much, but 
the front of the bike is taller. Um, if that's a problem, you could allow the forks to pass up through the triple clamps, you know, a little bit. Over here to mount the headlight, these are the stock headlight brackets. Obviously your triple clamp only has one bolt coming from a Hawk or a TBR7 or any of the China bike variants for that matter. There's a little groove on the top and a little groove on the bottom that help them align on the triple clamp of the China bike. As you can see, I didn't paint them yet, so you can see that I just cut that off at the top, cut it off at the bottom, and they mount again to the top bolt on the Honda setup. So, if anybody has any questions, please feel free to ask. Um, but I'll get all the little fine details and links put together in the video's description for you. That way, if you want to do this, you can. Because I do recommend it, especially if you're riding the bike a lot off-road or doing any kind of, you know, aggressive off-roading. You will blow a fork seal, bend a fork tube, or any of those good things that don't make your day real fun. So... Thanks for watching. Hope this helps.